Adding a sepia tone effect in Affinity Photo is easy. You can see I've got an image opened here uh, in Affinity Photo. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert this to black and white. And I'm going to do that by going up to the Layer menu, adding a new Adjustment Layer, and selecting Black and White Adjustment. And you can see that immediately turned it to black and white. You can adjust these sliders to um, bring out some of the, the blacks, whites, the mid-tones, etc. I'm going to go ahead and tweak this a little bit just to see what looks right. You don't want to blow it out too much, so you don't want to tweak some of these too far. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that looks in black and white, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to add one more adjustment layer. And that is the adjustment layer and then recolor adjustment. And you can see that converted it to uh, red. I'm going to adjust this to 17 degrees. I'm going to bring this down to about 40% the saturation. And then the blend mode, I'm going to adjust that down to average. And you can see that looks like a standard brown tone photo. Again, if you wanted to go in and uh, adjust these later, double click on the white uh, icon on that particular adjustment layer. It'll bring up the adjustments for that particular layer. I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.